Hi guys, today I want to show you the Edition Multi Finder. First of all, we're going to check the firmware, the latest firmware you can find on the website, and we are running on the 1064. We're going to try to find the satellite with the list. So we start with satellite installation, enter, and then let's go up and let's choose for the, the Hotbird. Let's start with that one. Um, this Edition the Multi Finder has all the frequencies with all the transponders inside of its memory. Be sure that you're always using the latest uh, update uh, firmware. And here we go to the 13 degrees, 13 east. Okay, now just point a little bit. And there it is. But you need to make sure that it is absolutely the right satellite. So what we do, we just push the white or the gray button on the right hand side. And then it will start data parsing the uh, new transponder. And then we know for 100% sure that it will be the right satellite. As you can see, it is the Hotbird 13 degrees. Okay, let's find another one. It's very easy. We go down on the button, let's say uh, Astra uh, 23.5. Okay, we go to the left. And it must be somewhere here, maybe taking the elevation down a little bit. Let me see. Where is it? There it is, but we need to make sure again that it is the right satellite by pushing the white button again. It starts data parsing the transponder. And indeed, this is the Astra 23.5E, so this is the white one. If you are on the location and you don't know where you are, you can make an easy decision by choosing for the spectrum analyzer. So just put the spectrum analyzer DVB S2, you just point it anywhere you like, let's say to this, and you put the frequency marker on one of the transponders. You can zoom in by pressing the OK button, and you can make it a little bit lower by pressing the channel up button. You just zoom in a little bit, zoom in a little bit, put the frequency pointer exactly on the transponder and then you push the white button again and then it starts to, it starts to investigate this transponder. We are on the S219.2 at the moment. Wonderful, let's take another one. So, uh, I just go uh, well, a little bit more to the right. Uh, here we have the next one. Go to the left, frequency goes to the left. We take this transponder, push the white button again data parsing and here we have let's see let's see this is a Eurobird 9 East it's simple as that if the satellite is not in the uh, system then you can make your own satellite so this is what I've done with the uh, Bulgaria set so um, you just uh, add, uh, add the satellite it's it's quite simple but don't forget to uh, to put the LMB type on Universal. So if you st if you want to start up a new satellite in the memory which is not already in the memory, then uh, don't forget to put the uh, LMB title on the uh, Universal LMB. Well, of course, if you are using a uh, Universal LMB, of course. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find that Bulgaria sat on 1.9 east. Uh, I have to move the antenna a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, here we are, and now we need to make sure that we are indeed on the right satellite by pushing the grey button again. Give you the SI info, and uh, let me see. Yes, it says Bulgaria set as well, and it gives you also the uh, the uh, programs which are in the MUX at this time, at this moment. Uh, let me see if we are able to have a look at this picture. It's a little bit windy here in the Netherlands. Uh, let me see, yeah, there we have the scene we like to have. This is on the, uh, on the 1.9 degrees east. And you can do the polarization as well. Here it goes up, so this is not good, it's better and it goes back again. So.